YouTube. Happy Buzzwordathon day six. Happy Saturday. Um, it's about 6.30 or so. I am just making a quick lunch before I have to head into work, but I just wanted to pop in and say good morning. Um, I am going to go ahead and bring Seven Ways We Lie with me today, um, just because I'm, I really do want to get another book done for the readathon. So I'm going to just try as much as I can to get as much reading done um, while I'm at work and read as much as I can. Um, but I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone has a great day. Happy reading. And I will see you guys a little later. Bye. <laughs> White chocolate mocha. Sure. No whip.
guys, so um, it's like 6, 6.30 or so. I uh, am finally home um, from a long day at work. It was a little, it was pretty slow, which is nice. So I did get uh, 50 pages in Seven Ways We Lie read. Um, I'm not really liking it. It is a cool concept, like having um, each of the Seven Deadly Sins represented by a different main character. But I just, I don't really like the writing style. I'm having a hard time distinguishing between like the voice of each character they all really sound the same except for one um and it's kind of boring not a lot has happened um i'm gonna continue to read it through the night and get as much of it done tomorrow as possible but i'm just i'm not really liking it and um this was actually one i thought was going to be the easiest one to read because it's like a contemporary and i feel like i can read contemporaries pretty quickly but I'm just, I'm not really a fan. I don't hate it. It's just kind of meh. Um, it's just not my thing. But I'm going to continue to try to read it and see if I can make a good chunk in it. Um, but I was able to get 50 pages in this red today. I was able to go to my used bookstore and pick up a few things because I had some credit. So I figured I would do kind of like a impromptu unboxing book haul for you guys and show you guys, show off what I got. Um, um, the first thing that I found is actually called Geektastic Stories from the Nerd Herd and it's edited by Holly Black and it's got authors in here like Lil Bray, Cassie Clare, John Green, Scott Westerfield, uh, Garth Nix. Um, so this just sounded like this just spoke to me. It's just an anthology about um, fandoms and geek culture. It's got things like Doctor Who and star wars i assume harry potter's probably in here and like comic books and like little mini like comic strips and this just was the perfect thing for me i'm a huge geek i love fandoms in general um and i am really excited to try out some new authors that i haven't read from and i really enjoy anthologies i think it's a great way to get introduced to so many new authors and this was just perfect for me um i haven't really seen a lot of people talk about it on booktube so i don't know if it just is very underrated or people don't know about it um but i'm really excited to give this a read and maybe spread some love if i enjoy it and i'm really excited to give it a try i also um this was also another pretty great find and if you've been following me for a little while you know i'm slowly reading through the legend of zelda legendary editions um this is oracle of seasons and oracle of ages this is the manga that follows the story from the games um and if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have been like trying to read a little bit more and like learn the stories because my boyfriend is a huge Legend of Zelda fan. It's like his favorite video game series. Um, and while I'm not a huge gamer, I enjoy like the story and like learning about the background of Link and his story. And so these for me are like the perfect way to learn those stories. Um, and the manga and the mangas are really fun to read so I was able to find this at a really good price use it's in still pretty decent condition it is gently used but it's still pretty good condition and so I'm really excited to dive into this one and this was also a, this was a great haul I'm really excited about this as well this was on our they have a, a shelf of like free books and um, I am so excited I found this I found an ARC copy of Unburied Carol by Josh Mallerman, which is his most recent release. So excited to find the to finally read this and um, to have this arc collection to add this arc to my collection. And the last two you probably have already seen because I was so excited when I found them: the the Savage Song and Arc Dark Duet. I don't remember what it's called. It's like Monsters of Something duology. Um, but I love Victoria Schwab. Love her writing style, love her, love all of her books, love everything she's written. Um, and so I am so excited to add these to my collection. I haven't either one of these yet, so I'm so excited. Um, I have been looking for the Savage Song for ages, um, and it's a pretty hard find used. Um, so I'm so excited that I have this. I would have liked a hardcover, um, but it's definitely something I couldn't pass it up with the credit that I had. and finding it in pretty decent condition to at least read in the paperback and then obviously add, and then I can add the hardcover to my collection later but I am so excited that I now own these. My fun little like used bookstore haul. I don't normally haul this much at once but 
I was it was just they were such great finds and I had some credit so I figured I would treat myself a little bit to some things that um, I have been wanting to read forever um, something that is kind of expensive brand new um, something I've never heard of and a very rare arc find so I'm now so I am very happy that I now own some new things for my collection and more books to add to my never-ending TBR list. I hope everyone's having a great day. Happy Saturday. Happy Buzzword on day six. And I will see you guys a little later. Bye. Hey guys. So it's like 11.15. Um, I'm pretty tired so I'm gonna head off to bed. Uh, but I wanted to uh, close out this vlog and let you guys know that I didn't do any reading. Um, I ended up um, getting some chores done around the house um but i ended up watching an episode of mrs measle and then uh, do i did do some editing of the vlogs of these vlogs um but i could possibly get seven ways to be like finished tomorrow i'm like 60 percent of the way through so i think i could possibly get it done um I don't really know what's on the agenda for tomorrow. We'll have to see what the day looks like. I hope everyone had a great Saturday. I hope everyone had a great Buzzwordathon day six. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, BookTube. Happy Sunday. Happy Buzzwordathon day seven. It's like 9.15 or so. I'm just getting up to start the day. Um, I don't know what the plan is yet I don't really know what we're gonna be doing um, I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done if any um, um, but I did just want to pop in and say good morning happy Sunday happy buzzword of fun days I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys a little later bye guys so it's like 5 30 or so I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I did it I finally finished seven ways we lie by Riley Redgate I think I'm gonna give it a three stars um, because I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It it was an interesting concept about having like each character um, represent one of the seven sins. But I, for one thing, it just took forever to read, and I normally can read contemporaries pretty quickly. Um, but I had issues determining who the voices for each character like all of the characters sounded the same and i didn't know i had to keep referring back to the beginning of the chapter to know which character was speaking um so i think i'm gonna give it like 2.75 stars but on goodreads it'll be like three stars um so i'm really happy that i finally finished this um so my progress for buzzword a readathon is two books in a week which never happens for me anymore so, um, for Buzzwordathon, I completed two books in a week and I read 928 pages, which is a lot. I don't think I've read that many pages in a, for a readathon since like maybe Booktube 2016. Um, I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with my progress for readathon. I'm really happy that I was able to finish two books. Um, and I gave one book three stars and one book three and a half stars so not the best of the books but i'm really happy that i finished two books in a week i'm really happy with the page count um i'm really happy that i went outside my comfort zone a little bit and read a new domestic thriller and a contemporary um if you guys are participating what is your progress what did you guys end up reading for the week I am going to sign off here and end my vlog here so that I can go ahead and start editing the rest of these for the weekend and get them up for you guys. Um, but I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you guys had a great buzzword of fun if you participated. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading and I will see you guys in my next video.